just Velcros here in the front. It doesn't have any game-changing okay. materials. This is the tackle bar harness. But Bridget Ling and her husband's invention is changing the game of football. These are foam bars that are removable off the back, so you pull the bar off to down the ball carrier, and that ends the play. The Minnesotans first launched tackle bar football in 2016, hoping to offer a safer way for kids to learn the sport. But not everyone bought in. You were a little skeptical at first? Very, very skeptical at first. St. Agnes football coach Tom Flood was concerned that tackle bar bans lowering shoulders, blocking to the ground, and tackling. Three really basic things in the game of football. So when it was first brought to my attention, I'm like, yeah, I don't think so. Until parents started saying the same thing in response to concussions. You watch the numbers in football drastically dropping. St. Agnes joined a group of schools willing to try tackle bar for elementary and middle schoolers. And they also took part in a study at the U of M. Researchers followed nearly 1,000 kids across 56 teams and almost 16,000 practices and games. We were thrilled to see that we had no head injuries, zero concussions, and an incredibly low number of injuries total. In fact, the tackle bar injury rate was more than seven times lower than tackle football. The number one goal is keeping kids safe. They should be playing sports and they're safe for them to play, you know, especially for the head. And thanks to this simple device, there are now twice as many St. Agnes students playing. The tackle bar has changed our numbers, bottom line. The tackle bar hasn't just grown in popularity at St. Agnes. There are now kids playing in 27 states and three countries.